All right. Um, so I was trying to think of a game to play for the stream, and I s I forgot that I had Let It Die in my library, but I have seen some of what this game is, uh, but I have not actually played any myself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna gonna open it and get game capture up on it but uh, I have to let it do first time startup okay first time setup and oh okay full screen if the computer being used does not meet the recommended specifications, we suggest turning full screen mode off. Okay. Close. So, it brought up a window that was asking me what resolution and full screen or not, but it. I'm guessing it's loading maybe or in the background um oh yeah it is it says it is oh there it goes thank you Um, wait, you know what, can I go out of this or no, it won't let me go off of any other window except for the one that it's on, um, yeah, no, I'm not able to access uh anything so wait window oop oop there now i think it's on this nope doesn't let me access it still i guess i have to accept the privacy policy and stuff first be oh jeez okay i forgot that it was not on my actual sound uh the right sound device so there now it should be going through the right thing at least but i'm also gonna okay good i turned that down so uh, oh okay it's open now except Okay. Oh, wait, that's right. Now I can game capture. Okay, it's not here still. Let me try window capture. Okay, it's not, it's not, oh wait. Yeah, no, it's not here either. Um, okay. Well then, let me just do display capture. There we go. Confirm. Enter player name. Uh. Well, there. Rended. Yes, this is it. Okay. Language. English or Japanese? Well, English. So I can barely see the image. I can still see it. <laughs> I can still see it, even at the lowest. Um, I don't know if I should adjust it like that or not.
I'm just gonna leave it where it was, because I don't know if that's gonna make it not, you know, <laughs> and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to see things if I put it lower than half, so I'll just let it go like that. There's death on the skateboard, just on the loading screen. But when it loaded, it brought up, like, uh, controller prompts, so... You know what? The sound isn't working. <laughs> Yeah, no, I can't hear any of this. Can I change the sound device? Okay, no. I'm gonna restart the game because... Yeah. Because it's not actually putting out any sound. Here we go. I'm guessing it chooses default device, but it doesn't switch automatically when you switch it, so... Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, I'm just gonna leave that. And now the intro should play, I think. Unless skipping it before skips it now, but... There might be an option to watch it anyway. Because it kind of explains what, what the game is about, so... Kind of what the, uh, the story is but from my understanding it's just you climb this i think i don't know if it's infinite or if there's an end but you just try to get as far as you can up the tower you just fight uh other characters In the year 2026 AD, the Earth-Rage tectonic disturbance occurred around the world, splitting the Earth into four terrestrial masses. Domination, war, disaster, and famine broke out in the Four Lands, and mankind fell into disarray. In the center of the world, a single tower rose steeply into the sky. It was a great structure looking down upon the earth from the heavens above. People believed that it held the key to the future. It became known as the Tower of Barbs, a place at which one could come closest to God.
Hmm. Another new arrival. Looks like things are about to get busy around here. I guess things are gonna get busy around here. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for the introduction. Oh, here we go. Oh, select fighter, here we go. Well. Look at all the selection. I'll go with this one. I have been awakened from the tubes. The subway train. Need even more help exploring the tower? Platinum pack and special pack now on sale. Okay. First time riding line 15, huh? I know, it's not a very well known lie, I admit. Anyway, this is the last stop. <laughs> it's Uncle Death. Okay, <laughs> pal. You gonna follow me the whole time? It's called an underwater Rolodex, and it's super important. I forgot to mention, my name is Uncle Death. <laughs> I have a feeling we're gonna get along just fine. <laughs> Sick tricks. Here I go. Oh, there he goes. He's up there. Everything is shiny. The floor, the walls, the ceiling. Oh. Oh, that actually... Oh, when I first looked at that, that just hurt my eyes. Okay. Shiny walls. Shiny. Shiny zone. Press only. Welcome. Okay. Go through here. One free continue per day. Okay. Going up the escalator. Some music. Hey, Senpai, it's me. This device here, as all the cool kids call it, is a smartphone. I'll be keeping in touch. All right, Uncle Death. Thank you. How to operate. Control settings can be found under key map and control settings type 1. You can assign hotkeys under control settings in the options menu. Thank for <laughs> thank you for playing Let It Die on the Death Drive 128. Please read Barb's Bible thoroughly 
to aid you in br brutality, okay. You can view it at any time in the Underworld Rolodex. You can open the Underworld Rolodex from the Options menu. Alright. <laughs> sick though. Uh oh. Yeah! Let's go! Your first enemy is up ahead! <laughs> hmm? Oh, he's got a... Oh, it's a Saul. I was gonna say he has a Jarrell, but it's a Saul. Go ahead, Thought the there are three levels of other punches. end was. Gets too high, we'll start to get exhausted. So oh, take oh, it easy, oh, buddy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thanks for following, lovely love 79. Oh, I missed. Oh, I missed. Oh, please. No touch me, please. Okay. Two is a counter. Hey. Pick up any equipment dropped by your enemies. Equip dropped items to gain power. Shift A. You know, the usual process. Wait, how do I... So, Shift A. Wait, huh? How do I actually equip it, though? Enter? Oh, okay. F. Oh, what's this? Another tip. Oh, it's a. That balloon has barbed wire around it, so. Okay. Any pieces of equipment are featured in the game. Let's take a look at a few basic rules. Equipment includes weapons which may be equipped on the right, left, or both hands, and three types of armor head, upper body, and lower body. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, I scroll by moving the mouse down. Durability. Every piece of equipment has durability, which decreases each time it is used. When the durability reaches zero, the equipment will break, so be careful. Okay. One-handed and two-handed weapons. There are single-handed weapons, which you can equip in each hand, and double-handed weapons, which you can only equip one of. It's your choice which weapon you become proficient with. Death bags. You can store and carry the various items you find in the tower in your death bag. About quick... Or weapon quick change. Both the left and right arm have three weapon slots. Use the directional buttons to quickly switch between weapons equipped in these slots. Okay. Yeah, you should be able to jump and shimmy up there somehow. Okay. There, I I jumped and or shimmied to get up there somehow. <laughs> Next uh, piece of mail. Rage moves. In this game, you can unleash rage moves, techniques which are stronger than regular attacks. If you use those effectively, you will have an advantage in battle. Rage gauge. Each time you deal damage to an enemy, your rage will build. This will increase in level until it reaches the maximum. Okay. Activating rage moves. When the rage gauge is full, hold Y. Well, I don't got Y. As you attack to unleash powerful rage move with your equipped weapon. Keyboard, oh, okay. So it's E on keyboard. The number of gauges used up by the rage move depends on the weapon you are holding. Got it. Anyone in the cells? Hey, up ahead, oh. Time for some healing. <laughs> oh, they know. They know I'm here now. Wait, do they? Oh yeah, now they do. Now's the time to let out all that pen up rage you've got inside. Of you. <laughs> <laughs> you can either block or evade enemy attack. How do I block? Boy, my saw is almost broken, so. Okay, I'll switch. Oh, 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 they got a ranged weapon. It's a nail gun. Get out of here. I melee. 
I don't have that yet. There we go. That was pretty sweet. Senpai, when you pick up items, you can choose to put them in this death bag instead of carrying them. Equipment, mushrooms, anything you can't carry can go in there. Well, I want to equip this, so. There, now I got this uh, raincoat on. You see, it has a cleaver, a knife, and. Uh, what is that? Like a mini scythe? A rake? Another knife? The question is, why can't I use these as my weapons? They're all strung together. I guess that's why, but like... Well, they have pants. Go shift W. Trucker pants. Is that what it was? Is that what it said? Tab. Inventory. How do I... Shift... Okay, wait. Shift A. How do I... Access my inventory, though? Okay, escape is not to pause? <laughs> Question mark? Okay, well, I guess... Guess no pause. Not for now. There we go, I'll sneak... Sneak through with my... Raincoat and my... My wellies. And my... Okay, shorts, I guess. Thought it was like underwear at first. Like boxers. There we go. Eating mushrooms. You will encounter various types of mushroom in this game. They have many uses, but here we'll explain their role as food items. Eating growing mushrooms. When you draw close to a mushroom, you can consume it quickly by selecting the eat icon, when d which will be displayed. Eating mushrooms in your bag. Oh, controller will... Yeah, I don't know. Keyboard. When you put mushrooms in your death bag, they will be displayed in the flick box at the top right of the screen. Use period to cycle left or period to cycle right, then press F to select mushroom you want to eat. Not all mushrooms are beneficial to the player. Some mushrooms contain poison that can result in death, so be careful. Okay. Eat mushrooms! <laughs> That's a given. Okay, this is healing. Well, I'm gonna do shift S. I'll put it in my inventory. Oh. Gear elements. There are six types of equipment. Slashing, blunt, piercing, fire, lightning, and poison. Weapon types. You can hold up to two types of weapon at the same time. It's important to pay attention to the type of armor the enemy is wearing and manage your weapons accordingly. Armor has a defense value that varies with the type. It's important to pay attention to the enemy's weapon and switch accordingly. Okay. Jungle machete. Okay, then I'll do shift D. Do that in that hand. And <laughs> I've got that and this. I'll switch to, uh, I'll just have the machete. These, I'm gonna put in my inventory as well. More mushrooms. Oh. Hi, um, um wanna give me some of those mushrooms? <sighs> um Tab? Wait. F. Okay. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed the mushrooms. <laughs> Just gonna keep putting them in my inventory. Here we go. What's this? The wrong mushrooms. Oh, yep. You encounter both mushrooms and beasts in this game. Let's look at how to throw mushrooms. Okay, I'm gonna look at the keyboard. Choose a mushroom you wish to throw by using period to cycle left or right, yep, yep. And then press tab to switch to throw mode. In this mode, you can throw mushrooms by pressing F. Try spacing up your battles by tossing a mushroom or two, okay? Gortastic attack. When you make an enemy groggy, that's when you can unleash a Gortastic Coupe de, Coupe de Grace. These moves are so awesomely brutal that you might even want to cover your eyes. By unleashing a continuous barrage, oh, making an enemy groggy. By unleashing a, a continuous barrage of attacks on an enemy. You can make them groggy, of course. This can happen to your character as well, so take care. Using Gortastic. Activates when you approach an enemy in a groggy state and press E, Y, R, O. The Gortastic attack will differ based on the weapon used. If you... Okay, Gortastic experience. If you defeat an enemy using a Gortastic attack, you will receive more rewards than usual. Don't hold back now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Sure thing, Uncle Death, I'll try. Oh. Perform a killing ball when your opponent is knocked out. Hold E. Oh, there we go. Nice one. Oh. What did they turn into? They turned in like to the Resident Evil mold and then just they're gone. What's that? Oh. I don't want to throw it. Okay. How do I I forget how to It's saying the back button. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a that's not a keyboard control. What if I So what does the steering wheel do? Is the question. Cuz I have that plugged in. So How inventory? How do I access inventory? Q is to block. It didn't It might have told me that, but I didn't see it. G F D Z C Okay, C is feeling pretty pumped now, huh? Good <laughs> thing it wasn't poisonous. Okay, so C is to consume. I got that now. There we go. So the different clicks are your other hands. Right on. Now I'm going to get shot. Yep. Here it goes. Oh, they have an op. Oh, and then their head got chopped off. Oh, by Uncle Death. Wanna try 
try again? Oh, wait. Let me put the title logo up real quick. You know how these things go. Woohoo! Let it die. <laughs> Thank you for listening to this voice guidance system. Let us embark on a journey of discovery about the many wonders of the Tower of Barbs. The Tower of Barb is located on the tiny 3.7 square mile island of South Tokyo. Legend has it that this island was formed during the Earth Rage tectonic disturbance of 2026. The tower stands at 1686 feet the equivalent of a 30-story building with super high ceilings. Many say that the tower is actually growing with each passing year. Legend has it that a great treasure lies at the top of the tower. As such, many brave people often attempt to climb the tower to obtain those riches. However, none have managed to survive the tower's horrific trials and thus the tower stands as a grim reminder of the many lives lost in search of this mythical treasure. I hope that you too will enjoy your climb of the tower and experience the many wonders that it has to offer. Oh. Finally waking up. You seem sleepy, so I turned it off. Huh? I'm talking about the Death Drive 128, of course, man. You were just playing it, remember? <laughs> hey, pretty cool, huh? Pretty badass. <laughs> it's the best game console ever, and this game, let it die. It's probably the greatest game ever made. Yeah. The goal of the game is pretty simple. Just make it to the top of the Tower of Barbs. It's like a hack and slash roguelike kind of a thing. What the <laughs> Hey, dude, you're a gamer, aren't you? <laughs> then you'll totally be fine. <laughs> Just try it out. Gamer. I'll set it up for you. Okay, all ready to go? Let's get started. Uh. Press any button. Okay. Oh, this is... Yep, 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 yep. Oh! There we go. Now, now this is the... The game. <laughs> Let it die! Okay, now I selected a fighter again. Well, uh... Go with this one now. <laughs> wakey, wakey. 
Eggs and bakey. Straight from the tubes of the subway again. Oh, where's Uncle Death to greet me like last time? I wanted to see if I could break things here, but I guess not. Oh, well, back to the shiny room. Oh! Wait. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here's the hub. Waiting room. The hub of your adventure. This is the waiting room of the station, bottom of barbs. The last stop of line 15. Situated under the tower of barbs, this room contains many interesting features. Just what are you waiting for, you ask? Perhaps the question should be, what is waiting for you? Quit game. To exit the game, return to the waiting room and select quit the game from the options menu. You can also exit from the title screen. Warning, closing a game outside of the waiting room will result in your character's untimely death, so be careful. Okay. So, uh, basically, don't quit the game before you're at the hub or your character is dead. Got it. Choku Funsha. Commodore Suzuki is the manager of the store. You can give him the blueprints and materials that you can find in the tower and ask him to develop equipment. After the equipment has been developed, it can be mass produced and sold in the store. Finding things to be sold in the store, however, is the player's responsibility. If you obtain blueprints, if you... Okay. If you have blueprints obtained from the tower in your death bag when you enter Choku Funsha, Commodore Suzuki will analyze them for you. You can purchase weapons and armor once you have purchased a piece of equipment. It will be temporarily out of stock, okay? Selling. You can sell items in your possession. R&D. If you gather materials specified by a blueprint, you will be able to request research and and development. On such occasions, you will also require split splithium obtained from defeating an, a specific enemy. The research development will take some time. When the research is finished, the items will appear in the shop and can be bought as many times as you need them. Strengthening. Once research has been conducted on a piece of equipment, you will be able to strengthen it. Materials are required each time you strengthen equipment. Uncapping equipment. Fourth stage plus four equipment can now be uncapped. As with regular R&D, uncapping requires certain materials as well as lithium. Once uncapped, your new item will appear in the store. Fun shots available at Choku Funsha. Uh, fun shots are stat upgrades for your gear. There are six types: three for attack types, slash piercing, blunt, and three armor types: head, body, leg. Fun shots raise attack and defense stats for individual equipment. There are three ways to upgrade fun shots: advance your equipment tier. Uncap your equipment or R&D new equipment. Your fun shot effects will also apply to the weapons and armor you pick up. Some limited time event weapons and armor may be excluded. Okay. Well, I don't think I have anything yet, so... DH service. We've teamed up with the insurance company Direct Hell to offer a special service to support players. It's called DH Service, and you can access and sign up for it in the options menu. Remember, you'll need some of the special currency known as Death Metal to sign up, though. DH Store. Visit the DH Store to purchase an Express Pass. You can also convert Death Metal, buy special discount packs, and more. Death Metal Exchange. You can exchange Death Metal for Kill Coins. The exchange rate is one Death Metal to 5,000 kill coins. DH Express. Do you ever find yourself shouting, I want to climb the tower faster, or 
I want to play more efficiently. Well, at that, all, well, all that can be yours with the purchase of an express pass. After you purchase and use an express pass, the services below will become available to you for th or for 30 days. Once a day, you will receive a limited decal as a login bonus. These skill decals have a variety of effects, including increasing your HP recovery or your XP or kill coin gains in the tower. You will be able to use the Royal Elevator. Unlike the normal elevator, which requires kill coins to operate, this extra ordinary luxury elevator will transport you to your chosen floor of the tower free of charge. The number of slots in your death bag will increase. These extra spaces are called the royal slots and will be marked with a crown icon. If you stop using the express pass service, the items being held in the royal slots will be sent to your rewards box. Save on hater retrieval costs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think this is stuff. I think this is something you purchase with the secondary currency, so I'm probably not gonna do that. Cooking mushrooms. You'll encounter mushrooms in this game, so let's look at how to prepare them. Cooking mushrooms. Okay. You can cook mushrooms by grilling them. Select a mushroom in your possession you wish to grill and press tab to switch to throw mode. In this mode, you can grill the mushroom by approaching a fire and pressing F. Some mushrooms cannot be grilled. You can also just throw them into the fire to grill them. These effect are, Their effects change when you grill them, so be exper experimental with your cooking. Okay. Mushroom club. <laughs> this shop opens after you rescue the mushroom magistrate, the owner of the shop. They will deal with skill decals formed from mushroom powder. What are skill decals? Attaching decals to a fighter's body will benefit the player with various effects. There are many designs and functions once a skill decal is attached. If the fighter dies or if the skill decal is removed, it will disappear. Purchasing. You can buy skill decals with kill coins or death medals. Selling. You can sell skill decals in your possession. Since you can't get rid of them, you may as well sell those you have no use for. Trading. If you bring a, the bronze skill shroom, silver skill shroom, or the gold skill shroom, the magistrate is seeking to store, she will trade them for skill decals. Purchasing premium decals. You can spend kill coins to drink some mushroom stew, which the mushroom magistrate has put her heart into making. As a bonus, a premium decal is always inside. These decals are different to standard ones. They will not disappear if the fighter they are attached to is killed. Please note, mushroom stew is purchased with death metals and yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, death metals contain death metal fragments or death shavings. Mysteriously, these metal components tend to attract more uncommon premium decals, so okay. So what, like I can... Oh! Oh, how I've been waiting for you, fellow believer! In the power of mushrooms! <laughs> okay. Change skill decals, buy premium decals. The secret of my success! The secret of my success! The secret of my success! Okay. Okay, well, I don't have coins to buy these. Without mushrooms, there is no glory. There is nothing. There is no love. Nothing makes sense. Okay. Um, so wait. I can. Oh, wait, I lost those when I died. Okay, never mind. I was gonna try to throw. I was gonna try to throw a mushroom in. Uh.
Oh, there we go. Okay, I... So, what was going on in the background was I was rendering a video, like I was letting it process or whatever. So what ended up happening is... <laughs> once the video finished, it tried to open it to preview it, and then it just... Yeah, it just disconnected my microphone, so... Now, it, now it's working again. So let me go back to the game. Oh. Okay, so now... Now what do I... I guess I can just continue... Either my way up the tower or... Restroom? Oh. Well... It doesn't have a wall here anyway. Can I check these? No? Can I interact with anything in here? Nope. Oh, there's something over here. Storage chest. The storage chest is capable of holding any of the materials the player carries in their death bag, including equipment, mushrooms, and beasts. Okay. So I don't think I have anything in here. Yeah, I don't. Store. Rewards box. All quest rewards are placed in this box, in addition to login bonuses and presents from Captain Yatsu Yatsuyama. Make sure to collect your prizes from here after you earn them. Okay, so is there stuff in here? Oh, there is. Login bonus. Okay. Rare metal for R&D. Death metal, four. Okay. And then 20,000 coins. Confirm. Alright, well that was everything in there. What's this? Um... Okay. What happens if I go back? I guess there isn't anything back here. Oh, I forgot Q was to dodge. So now I, I remember that now. No. <laughs> uh we go to I'll just go through here now. Uncle Prime. This is a service where Uncle Death will deliver the player presence on his beloved Deathmobile free of charge. It's it not just a login bonus, it's Uncle Prime. Upon leaving the waiting room after opening a box, another will be delivered to you. You will be able to open this next box 20 hours after delivery. Express our designated day delivery is not available. <laughs> okay. Box contents. The contents of boxes are random. You must be excited to find out what's inside, so fling open any box you see. Okay. Open up what's inside. Iron hammer. If I'm not mistaken, this is like, um... Like a heavy weapon. So how... How do I access the inventory? And how... How do I pause? Because <laughs> I still... I still don't know what the pause button is. So, uh... What am I... What did I just do? Okay, I'm just pressing every button on the keyboard. So I figure it out. Um, okay, so I don't know what the pause button is. What if I hit... 
Okay, these don't do anything either on the steering wheel. Yeah, no, the steering wheel does not does not have input for the game, I guess. So what what what, what how do I how do I get to the menu? <laughs> Express service is all you need to climb the tower. Bring me the materials and blueprints, and I'll make anything. However, I'll be needing some of your things in return. I use that energy to make the goods, get it? Okay. R&D. I have R&D medals, but I don't have uh, anything to to give to make it. I can just buy metal bat or buzzsaw knuckles. Okay. Come back anytime. Wait, what was this? Sell so? death bag. Okay, these things are in my they're in my bag, but how do I equip them? Like how... what's the menu button to equip anything? Because escape doesn't do anything for me. <laughs> like, I'm hitting the button but it just doesn't... It doesn't go out of the game or menu or anything. Oh, I just accidentally took a screenshot, but okay. Um... Yeah, uh, you know what, I have a controller, so I'll, I'll just try using that. I just have to go get it, actually. Okay, I got the controller, but now I gotta actually plug it in. Controller is in, but will I have to restart the game to actually use it is the question. Nope. Okay. So, I don't really use controller for games, uh, so this will be one that I guess I do, just because I don't know how to actually access the menu or anything on keyboard so yeah because you can access it from here with with pause on the controller but you can't you can't access it on the keyboard with escape ah here we go control settings switch control mode custom controls keyboard ah here we go so what is escape? Menu cancel back. But it says it's disabled for some reason. Default. 
so yeah, this will go out of the menu, but it won't go into the menu. I can only use the controller to do that. Graphic settings? Well here, now I can actually change this stuff too. Vertical sync off. First of all, motion blur off. Ambient occlusion, bloom effect, dynamic shadows, bolt holes, slash blood stains count, items count, high. Well that's that's fine, okay. Okay, I don't see a difference between high or well I barely see a difference between high and low, so I'll do low. Standard, high, ultra. <laughs> ultra textures, what is this? I have to restart the game to actually apply the the settings that I put on, I guess. So I'm gonna quit. Are you sure you want to quit the game outside of the waiting room? This will kill your character. Yeah, I'll just do it now and then I'll open the game again, but we go play. Oh, I can close this stuff now, too. I just didn't... I didn't close any of this stuff. I completely forgot I had it open. So... Um... Steam... Friends... Uh-oh. Oh, I gotta wait for the game to load. Or it doesn't let me... Oh, wait. Alt-Tab. Okay, never mind. There we go. Close. Can close that. There we go. Now everything else is closed. Connection error. Select no to return to title screen. Try again, yes. Okay, I didn't realize I lost connection to this too. I didn't I didn't realize I lost connection to Twitch. I don't know what I closed or what I did to cause it to do that, but You know what, well, while this is loading, if it lets me, it might not, but here we go. I'll go into this, advanced, and see, reserve, cutoff point, increase delay when reconnecting. There we go. And then I'll do like a five, yeah, a five second delay before the stream actually is active because usually my bitrate doesn't go up till um, a, a couple seconds or so after. So uh, I'll let that uh, I'll let that have a little bit of a delay. Oh, but this is yeah. Let me open the game back up. Okay. Oh.
Um, okay. Is this... reconnected question mark uh, I don't know why I got disconnected again oh it says welcome to the chat room so I'm I'm actually back I guess fig gameplay settings music effect voice vibration no vibration Subtitles on, brightness. I can s Yeah, see. That's why I didn't want to change it before, because... I think I actually... Okay. Like that. settings. What if I turn this on? Off. Okay, I can slightly see the difference, but I think actually low might be more, like, might give more clarity. I'll just do off, actually. Control settings. Switch control. Type. So now I can look at this. Throw mode is Y. Okay, change item X, R, B, E, A. Rage moves Y, jump, okay. So throw mode, how do I... Okay. Figure out this as I go. Jump. B is block. Y is not anything. Okay, that's how I access the map. Up doesn't do anything. I think this is... good now. Okay, so I don't know why I keep getting disconnected, but <sighs> here, wait a second. Let me, let me do output advanced. Okay, so I can enable. What if I just... Zero seconds. I think it's the game. Like it... 
Let me try doing... Uh-oh. Yeah, no, the game... the game is causing issues for... the stream. It's when I'm trying to load textures and stuff, it just... It drops the bitrate. Well, let me see what happens with the low. Okay, it's still giving me a warning about connection. Oh, yep, here goes. I think it's the texture change between... Well, I'm just gonna leave it on Ultra then. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna try to continue and see what happens. The game still has issues. I'm gonna probably end up not streaming it for until until I stop having uh, network issues, so I guess I'll figure out the controls as I go now. <laughs> Open up the vault. Oh, vault door number two. Vault door number three. Vault door number four. <laughs> Red, green, green, but not uploading. I think it's gonna disconnect again. Yep, it did. You know what? I'm gonna look at this and see if there's a setting to not split streams like it does when it disconnects because enable okay so I can't change the output or anything our video advanced um 
automatically reconnect. Maximum, <laughs> maximum retry is 1440 I have put in. Um. Okay. Notifications. Detect skipped frames. Detect lagged frames. There we go. Now I can see if frames are lagging as well as being skipped, so I at least know that, but I still I still can't do uh unsplit streams, so how do I see that now with this? It says it has dropped frames and stuff, but it doesn't have um lagged frames anywhere. I don't know how I see that. Settings, appearance, notifications, detect lagged frames, show notifications. Yeah, it says I got disconnected like five times already, so. Um, but I'm not seeing lagged frames anywhere. I just see skipped and uh like the frames per second and the bit rate there we go I didn't get disconnected that time I guess but it is dropping frames. Oh, there you are from before. The old you is nothing but a raging maniac now. You have to kill him before he kills you. How do I block? What's... what's block? Okay, I don't know the block button. I have to do... X and Y to... Or X and B together? the block button. This is the center view button. I think I'm gonna die because I don't know the block button. I just killed myself, I guess. <laughs> Collected fighter. Oh, I forgot about that. You can collect fighters.
Okay, I'm not disconnected, but it still did it. Haterfication. Oh. If your fighter exhausts their HP in this game, they will die and be resurrected as an enemy. Haterfication and Retrieval. When a fighter dies, they will transform into an enemy roaming on the floor on which they met their demise. Such fighters are called haters. If you assume control of a new fighter and defeat the hater, they will be retrieved and stored in the fighter freezer. If you let them be and their defeat and they defeat another player, the rewards will be sent to your rewards box. Orange named enemies. All enemies with names displayed in orange are haters. They may be one of your haters or a hater that was once a different fighter. In either case, they are far stronger than most of the other enemies you will face. Watch out for them. Okay. Okay, so B is block, but when I'm moving it's roll, so I would have to stand still to block. Okay. And pushing that down will make my character run. Pushing down the left stick. Yep. Disconnect. Okay, so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna stop streaming for now and figure it out, but I might, might be back later or something. So, uh, yeah. Um, I guess I'll see ya later. Okay, so I'm gonna try this again. Uh, last time, um, I was having some problems with the stream, but, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt this again. Let it die. I thought I changed the voices to um to Japanese. Oh yeah, that is another thing that I did uh, while I was looking at the settings is I changed the voices. Well, I had changed the voices to Japanese. I don't know if it actually stayed or not, though. So it might be, uh... <clears throat> it might still be in English, the words, and, uh... the subtitles also. But I guess I'll see once it loads in. I have new mail, but, but first, opening drink ASMR. Okay, now, now I can move around, let's see. Also, Gameplay settings. Um, maybe I'm not able to change it from 
in here. Yeah, unfortunately not. Um... Yeah, well, I guess I'll see. Variety goods. Nope, it is in Japanese. Now we're talking. <laughs> I guess there's not general subtitles. Unfortunately. Because if there were, then I would actually understand. Oh, I forgot I had this, too. Um... Switch display... Okay, well, I'll keep that on. Uh... Here we go, this is how I... ...do this. But how do I quick change? That is the question. Okay, B is block, but only when you're standing still. Um, what? What did I just do? What is this? Okay. This is the golden elevator, and then this is the regular elevator. Mingu Head. Mingu Head is the game's fighter training machine, a fancy character who always greets the player when they return to the waiting room. He's not all show, however, but a valuable character who will raise fighters level for you. Okay? Experience. You will receive XP for defeating enemies and eating mushrooms in the tower. By collecting XP, you can raise your fighters level. The XP can only be used by the fighter who acquires it, okay? Leveling up. Upon returning to the waiting room, Mingo Head will absorb all the kill coins in Splithium that you collected. If you have enough EXP to level up, you can split the points between your six stats to become stronger. HP, hit points, this will influence your maximum health, yeah, 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 dexterity. Influence your firearm attacks, vitality. This will influence your defensive capabilities. Stamina affect the maximum level of your stamina gauge. Luck influence the amount of kill coins you receive, as well as improving your chance of a critical hit every time you perform attack. If cancelled, you can level up at any time by accessing accessing this machine at again. Okay. Uncapping fighters. Once your fighter has maxed out all their stats, bring them to Mingo Head to uncap them. Unlike a normal level up, uncapping requires Bloodnium and Deathroids. Okay. Well, I'll go up the escalator. Back to the, uh... No, well, back to the first room, I guess. Okay, here again, but I killed myself, so, you know, where the heck? Mail, here we go. Uncle Death. <laughs> Dear Senpai, it's me. Listen, Senpai, don't freak out, but I just heard the f four Forcemen are in town. They're all tough as <laughs> shit and decked out in the latest armor. Supposedly, they like to turn up on Wednesdays and Sundays every week. Could you swing by 
Reginaka on the fourth floor and check it out. I hear that's where you can fight White Steel, whoever that is. It's going to be a crazy battle though, so be sure to stock up, Senpai. Oh, one last thing. I heard some mushrooms don't work against him. It sounds like a recipe for trouble. No matter what happens though, I'll always be here to support you from the sidelines. Catch you later. <laughs> Heck yeah. Materials. Oh. Dear Senpai, it's me. You can often find iron and wood on the floor in the tower. Have you found any? These are all materials. They're essential for when you want some R&D done on any of the blueprints you find. The seven types of material are wood, iron, aluminum, oil, steel, fiber, and metal. It's going to be a strain on your death bag to pick up every single material you see, but anything rare looking from treasure boxes, boxes is definitely worth collecting. See you later. Or, well, later. About treasure boxes. <laughs> Dear Senpai, it's me, Senpai. If you see any treasure boxes, be sure to open them. It looks like there are three types, small, medium, and large and the contents differ with each. I don't know the details, but apparently the largest type are, is pure gold. Inside you'll definitely find some rare shit, like equipment's blueprints. So if you see one, don't hesitate, you hear? Grab the goodies. Well later. Oh yeah, yeah, I'm new to the game. I have no clue how anything works. I just started playing today. Uh, on behalf of the community, welcome. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you for welcoming me. Uh, oh, Yo Mei Jin here. I've got some Heijin tips with your name on. Oh, Drop by the arcade sometime and let me impart some of my wisdom, okay? You won't regret it. Whoa, looks like I've got an intruder to deal with. Adios, dude. Meijin. Captain Yatsu Yatsuyama. Login bonus. Okay. Thank you for playing Let It Die. Captain Yatsuma- ya Jeez. Yatsuyama here. From Yatsuyama Enterprises. Here is today's login bonus for players who have successfully explored the Tower of Barbs up to 20th floor. Oh, okay, so I'm not there yet. And then login bonus. You'll get Splithium times 10,000 express one day pass next time you log in. Okay. My data. Mastery level. Oh, okay. So, eventually, you can level them up and they do certain things once they're leveled up. Got it. Picture book. Mushroom collection. Yoga shroom. Eee. What is this? Oh, tutorial. Oh, here we go. So I started on keyboard, so I don't know any of the controls for, uh, for the controller. But I switched to controller because I couldn't access the menu by hitting escape on my keyboard for some reason, so... I just switched to controller instead. Rage moves. Okay, hold Y. Press and hold that. Cycle, okay. Gear elements. Weapon types. Yep. By pressing A. Um. Waiting room, storage chest. Okay, I don't know how to. Wait, equipment. How do I quick switch? Collection. Okay. I guess I'll figure it out at some point, but here we go. Oh no. 
It's a chat bot. You know what? Let me take care of this. Oh, I didn't want to. I don't want to reply to that. Get out of here. Boom. There we go. Okay. Oh, like a electronic conduit here. Whatever that goes to. Yeah, no, 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 I saw that. I saw the Haas bots before. I, di I didn't get what other people got. Like, I heard that it was spamming, like, a racist and... Uh, racist and just, I guess, not, you know, obviously not good things, but I, I, I got one of the Haas bots to follow my channel, but it didn't do anything, so, fortunately for me, it hasn't, it hasn't caused any issues. Ooh. Pumpkin. Can eat this. I'm gonna put it in the bag. There we go. Oh, that's spooky. Let me go pick up this thing. Hey. Beasts. There are a great variety of creatures besides enemies in this game. Not all of them are docile. Some will attack you while others will emit poison. It is important for the player to make use of these beasts in order to survive. How to catch. By pressing down left stick you can crouch when you approach the beast in the stance. Oh, okay. Eating. Ah, okay. Well then I guess I'll keep a lookout for them. Grilling beasts. Throw, throw mode. Lord. Sprouting mushrooms, here we go. Mushrooms will sprout from the corpses of any animal that you kill by stomping or by any other method. The type of mushroom that grows will depend on the type of animal. There you go, in my inventory. I'll just keep the frog in there. Oh, didn't want to run, I want to... I want to crouch. I keep forgetting that the uh, D-pad is to switch the... Um... To switch the weapons. Okay, what is this? Mastery level. Oh yeah, I looked at this. So now it's going to tell me... Okay. Controller. If you de defeat a lot of enemies with a specific type of weapon, you'll... your mastery with that weapon. Yep, okay, it'll go up. Maximum level is 20, and you'll unlock sub-moves that you can do with LB, RB, as well as new attacks and skill boosts. Okay. Keyboard. Yeah, it's going to explain the same thing, but with the... yeah, keyboard prompts. ABP ability points. Okay, requiring a ABP. Ability points will be awarded to the weapon which dealt the final damage in defeating the enemy. Once you accumulate a set of number, a set number of points, your mastery level will increase. Okay, mastery level not dependent on fighter. Okay, so. Okay. Mastery is carried across all characters, so then if I use weapons as any character, then the mastery will go up. Got it. Fragos. What is that? Oh, it's a robot. Hey, pal. There, I activated it. Now I'll wait for it to come over here. Ooh. Oh, there's two. Okay. One. Okay. Oh! There we go. What 
What are the frogs saying? Sounds like they're saying they're saying dinner, dinner, dinner. In inventory, three. There, now I have four frogs and one pumpkin. Okay, so do I have to save the pumpkins, like keep them, till I get back to the lobby or or the hub or whatever, or do I have to like? Does it matter? Does it not matter? I just have to pick them up. Because, like, I don't want to use it as a health item and not, you know, not be able to collect them all if that's what I need to do. Oh, what's this? Yatsu... Yatsuyama Bionics. Page one. Let me see. Where is that at? My data. Mastery level. My data. So, level 2 with this now. Attack power increased by 5%. Okay. Oh wait, there's more stuff in here. Picture book. Mushroom collection. What's it saying that's in here, though? Oh, the pumpkin. Okay. Mushroom that grows on top of pumpkins contains... A strong stimulant, metallic smell, sweet, and with a good bite to it. Okay. Beast Encyclopedia. Frog. Size 26 inches. Distribution. Primarily Max's area. Scientific name Hyla Festicam. Body fluids protected skin from dehydration. Beasts live in the tower have evolved uniquely due to the mushroom spores. The spores also evolve, feeding on corpses to become mushrooms at an alar alarming speed. Okay. Okay, my collection. What do I have in here? Here we go. Yatsuyama Bionics Catalog. So I just have this first page. And then this is just mastery level and beasts, okay. Okay, yeah, this is the way to go. Stamps. There is always one stamp station at on each level of the Tower of Barbs. You can stamp each one onto the stamp section of the Underworld Rolodex. It's possible to climb the tower without stamping, but you'll receive some rewards if you do. Controller. Once you access the stamp station, okay, A, with good timing to press in the falling stamps. Oh, okay. Three, two, one. There we go. I got stamp number one. Oh, and then it explodes. Got it. Ooh. Hey, pal. Oh. What the heck? Oh! person. A. Okay. There we go. Firework launcher. <laughs> As my secondary. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, no. Oh, it countered me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh, what did I just... I summed... No, I didn't want to eat the pumpkin! Oh! Well, I did it anyway. Uh-oh. Okay. Road Shocker. Oh, that's the same thing I think that I had before. I accidentally put that in my inventory. There we go. Well, I accidentally ate the pumpkin. I didn't want to, but I guess it happened. It didn't say anything about not eating them for collecting them or anything, so... Box. Heavy hitter body A1. Or body A. Just A. And I guess I. That in my inventory. Oh, what's this? Heart shroom. Okay. Well, I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna level up at the waiting room. I'm I'm gonna continue still though. One-handed weapon. Fired HP 200. Okay. Switch that over to there. There, now I got two. You know what? I'll use this to initiate the fight. Oh, oh I heard them. Or not. I forgot I couldn't, I couldn't block while moving, or it just rolls. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, well, I accidentally, I guess that removes the other weapon? I didn't know that. Or wait, is it in my inventory? Let me check. Okay, yeah, it just moves them to in there. And now... There we go. There. Now I have... Oh wait, I don't have a... 
a weapon in the first slot. So then... Okay, there we go. Now the slots are filled. There, I'll have these two equipped because they're going to break. More ammo. There, I'll get the two, and I'll do hammer and bat. So, how does blocking? Oh, they got a firework launcher. Wait till they get in here. Oh. Oh, they noticed me. hit them with it. Okay, that's how I can get them to kill enemies for me, basically. Yep, there we go. level hammer rage move okay switch that with the other one switch to the hammer switch to this oh my armor is about to break what is this something back here is the question oh yep there's a case back here. Oh, yeah. Open up money. Um, something up there. Let me see if there's a way. Boxes here. Okay, I can't climb that. Can't climb this. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything up there, so... Maybe I can... Okay, maybe not. I was thinking maybe I could climb the train. But it has the spikes around the edges, so... I guess not. Here we go. Here's the elevators. Elevator. The tower barbs features not only escalators, but elevators also. Including the DH Express Royal Elevator, there's also a system of rare sub-elevators that run only between certain floors of the tower. For more information on DH Express, please read Barb's Bible Volume 20 about DH services. Okay. Getting on and off. When you discover an elevator in the tower, turn the power switch on to allow the elevator to stop at that floor. Once you've done this, you can just use some kill coins and hop in the elevator anytime you wish to return to that floor. Okay. 
Using elevators to return to the waiting room and refresh yourself is probably a good idea if you want a pleasant climb to the summit. Royal Elevator. The Royal Elevator allows DH Express members to ride for free. Please tell Miss Torai... Torai, I, I guess? The elevator attendant, which floor you wish to go to. Maybe the social contact will be a bright spot on your lonely adventure. Activate. You access Mingo Head after returning to the waiting room via the elevator. You can use your EXP to level up. Alright, well... Waiting room. Oh, there we go. Now I can see the... Nyeol. Stop. Nyeol. Nyeol. Collect three things. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, did it. Did a little bit of a spin -a there. While I was fighting. I stood in the corner, waited, went back. <laughs> oh, the amount of spins. And oh 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 yeah there. There we go. Okay. Money and now Strengthen chosen parameters using EXP. Okay. <laughs> Luck. Uh, what? How many points do I? Oh, okay, I see. Just do one in each, and then. Yeah, I'll just do one in each for now. Seventeen hours on this, because I already collected the first one. be the first floor again, so I've already been there. I don't think I got further than the first floor, so I'll just take the escalator and go through it again. the pumpkin again. That in the bag. Okay, now it's not selected, so I won't use it right away. Oh. There we go, now I got those. Now what is... this? Oh. So wait, I can just... 
keep relooting this stuff, I guess. Well, what? Let me see what's in my bag. Get rid of that. How do I... do I have to... yeah. That has zero. Okay. How do I get the one in the... oh! There we go. Um... <laughs> I'll dual wield them. Dual wield the firework launchers. Oh, I thought I could like shoot faster, but I cannot. I forgot about my health. There we go. Okay. Robot's down again. Tear gas. Well, I'll take it. I'll switch to it so I can throw it at something eventually. Okay, I remember that there was an enemy down here before. HP 280. Well, I guess I'll put that in my inventory then. Switch. There we go. Dual hammer. Oh, they didn't have anything. Okay. Will they break through the boxes? Or do I have to break through the boxes? I think I do. There we go. Uh, uh. Oh, overexerted myself. Here we go, pick up another hammer. Here we go. Now I got my dual hammers back again. Switch back to the dual shooters though. The dual firework launcher things. Oh, we both have them? It's a true duel. Oh, that's out of ammo. That one isn't. Oh, reloading. Uh oh. I'll get him. 
Oh, I'll get him. Oh, I'm not hitting him. Oh, I'm not hitting him. Oh. Oh. Oh, they got the higher ground. Okay. Hammers it is. Here we go. Missed. Oh, pick this up, switch it with this one. There we go. Oh, they got me with the iron. I'm trying to... Oh, the amount of things... It doesn't throw like that? Oh no. Okay. Back. X. I'll eat the frog. There we go. Oh, what are they? The red hot iron. Okay, I'll switch that to three. There we go. Up I go. This is empty, so I'll just drop it. And this one as well. There. Switching weapons makes you stand up. <laughs> oh, they, they know, they know, yep, they know. keep shooting them as much as I can. I got two more left in this. Pun tart. No more pun tart. Get out of here. Okay, I'll go check what this box has now. Dr. Drill Pants. I can wear these. Oh, another one right here. Apocalyptic Hockey Stick. Okay, do that one. Get the dual hammers back. You know what, I'll use the iron. Oh, that's a two-handed. Oh, hey! Oh, I missed. This one. Oh. Take that! Oh, they countered me. There we go. Body armor. Boom. Okay, now I'm gonna figure out how to do this. A to throw. Oh, I don't want to throw the frog. So it's there. <laughs> I'm guessing that doesn't do anything to that. Yeah, no. But now I know how to do it, actually. Oh, 
Out of ammo. Well, I'll just drop that then. Got another hammer though. Switch that with... Or no, I'll just keep it. Oh wait. There, that's empty. There, now all the weapons are equipped. Okay, it's two of... Oh wait. Yep, it's two of those, so... There we go. Oh, I masteried up. Put the mastery up on the iron one. Okay. What is this? A spore on the ground. Okay. Anything. I remember this room, but I know I can break these now, so I'll just punch this. Oh, nothing was inside, though. I can open this again. Collect some coins. Switch over that. There we go. And up I go. see my <laughs> I can just see what my character is switching to throughout okay I didn't even look over to the left to know that it would do that as well Imakawachu or Cho rather Imakawacho I have new mail what is this doom shroom that. Well, I'll look at the new mail before I go further. Oh. Reading your letters? Dear Senpai, it's me. I've decided to mail you stuff that's difficult to say in person. Not, nah. It's not really difficult, but whatever. So you've been reading that instruction manual thing. I don't read that kind of stuff myself, but I just thought I'd ask. You don't have to read it for every single thing, just refer to it when you need it, okay? It's really useful and has a tutorial section and all. Oh, have you tried collecting stamps yet? There's a stamping station on every floor, give it a try. Stamping the tenth one is tough, so prepare, prepare yourself, huh? Alright, that's all for me. If you got any problems, check the wiki. Ah, just kidding. Later. DOD Arms. Dear Senpai, it's me. Looks like you've reached the second floor just fine. Did you notice the DOD Arms fist mark on the wall? If you didn't, you will sooner or later. That mark seems to be related in some way to this area's boss. For the essentials on the boss, gather the fallen magazine pages, at least that's what Meijin says. I think the name of the magazine is Tales from the Barbs. Just pick up any pages you find, You'll pro you probably have already. Well later, I picked up one I think before. Hater crushing. Dear Senpai, it's me. Good job trashing that hater. Did you notice a blue light when you defeated it? 
That's splithium. The SP and splithium stands for super particle. I don't really get it, but it's a valuable energy source, so keep on crushing haters and gather splithium. Well, later. Beasts and the barbs. I think I... did I read this? Oh no, I didn't. But it, I got a tutorial on that, so... Mastery level. The bat went up, and... I'm level 5 with the hammer. Iron... Level 1. Fireworks increased. Hockey stick, I did not use that yet, so... I guess I'll figure that out. Mushroom collection. Crush room. Um, well, what does is, what is do is the question. This one does when eaten attack up by 50% effect time. Oh, okay. So it's... It's a... Uh, attack damage. Doom shroom. Deadly poison. Doesn't matter if it's cooked or not, it still does the same, okay. Cooked. Oh no, wait. Okay, I see. Never mind. Cooked, it's 60 seconds of lethal poison instead of deadly poison. So, I'm guessing it just does probably like more damage, maybe even double damage or something. Or all tear gas. And that's just 10 seconds then. But I'm pretty sure that's like a stun, basically. There. Just do that so it clears the... ...the indicator that I have something new. What the heck is that? Dustin. We've set up an item transfer service called Dustin for all your urgent inventory needs. It's a safe and secure way to send your items back to the waiting room. Types of Dustin. There are two types of Dustin. Dustin 5 paid version and Dustin TD. Free version, available only in certain areas. Access Dustin to transfer items. Just select the items you want to transfer and away they go. Dustin 5 can only transfer 5, transfer five at a time. It costs one death metal for every five transfer slots. You can find them located near the escalators on each floor. Okay. Oh. Oh, he's got... Are those... Oh, okay. They're high-top shoes, but... I thought they were, like, boots. I was gonna say... Does this robot have Tims on? But this bot does not have Tims on. That's just the color of the, the shoes. What is this? REM sleep. <laughs> it just puts you to sleep. Okay. I'll take it, though. And switch to it. Oh, that I don't want to do that to the uh, robot because I don't think it affects it like it does uh, normal people. Activate. Oh, it locked me in this room with it. Oh, with two. With three. Okay, okay. So then. What do I have in my inventory? Do these affect them, though? No, it does not. Okay. So I don't think mushrooms have an effect on them. Oh, I got myself in between them all. Get out of here. Wait for my... What is that? Oh, that's a material. Oh, they're fighting each other now. Get the other hammer on, so I got dual hammer. There we go. Scratch metal. Hey, I hear those ones. Well, I guess I'm just gonna eat a frog. There we go. No more. Oh, my other hammer broke. Is 
thought I saw something drop over there, but it did not. Here we go. More scratch metal, I think. Okay. Is there anywhere else that I can jump to? Nope, just up. Just back to the way I was going. Through here. Oh, another page. My data. What? Oh, the hammer went up again. Picture book. Okay, it is the mushroom collection. The REM sleep. The fluffy fungus. It has a round cotton-like cap and poisonous spores, just like... Oh, just touching it will put you to sleep. Do not trust its sweet smell. Okay. Tales from the barbs. Oh, here we go. Next page. Oh, okay. From Tokyo Death Comics, Tales from the Barbs. Number one. So wait, does it not... It says LT or RT for pages, but I don't think I can. Do I have to collect the uh, other pages or? I guess um, to look at the rest of it. There we go. Fire. Fire. Okay, this opens up. There we go. Is this the right way? I think it is. Money. Unless I went the opposite way. Lump of copper scraps. What? I hear people fighting in here. What the heck? Oh, up top! I'll just let them- oh. I was just gonna say I'll let them fight, but uh... Oh, they're behind me. I think all of them have armor. Well, you see, get up here. Oh. Ouch. I got lit. Oh. Oh. You know what? Oh. Oh. Does this have an increase for attack speed? If I keep using it... Uh oh. I'm gonna get out of here. Go, 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 go! No, 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 no. No more. Fight each other, please. Oh, they, they are. They are. They're fighting. No more. Missed. Attack power up. I'm just gonna keep hitting them. There we go. Got him. No more. There we go. Hockey stick, attack power up to... Okay. I don't want to switch those out with the firework launcher. 
can do one of these. There we go. What was that noise? Oh, there's stuff down there, that's right. Here we go. Pick this up. Inventory. And then there was more material somewhere else. Yep, over here. Gasoline? Water- or waste oil. Okay. Lights. Pick this up. Jump down and grab this frog. That was the only one in this room, actually. Yep, pick this. Oh, I don't have inventory space. Well, then I'll just eat one of these frogs. Now I can pick this up and put it in into slot two. There, now I got two hammers again. I'll do the almost broken hammer and the firework launcher. Tamata, okay. Yep, Tamata. Just go to the next area. New quests have been unlocked. Alright. So then when I go back, I can uh, look at that. Oh, new mail. Enemy types. Oh. Dear Senpai, you guessed it, me again. The former Senpai you just defeated has been recovered and is now chilling in the fighter freezer. Take them for a spin whenever you like. While I've got your attention, uh, let me tell you about different types of enemies. Fighters. This is what we call the guys and gals you control, senpai. Haters. Fighters turn into haters if they die in the tower, just like the former senpai turned corpse you just encountered. If you see an orange colored name, watch out. Screamers. Grunts you'd probably call them. Fodder, I guess. You've already squished... A fair number of these. Senpai. Hey. They look all moldy like zombies and they, they're they even dumber than haters. Bless them. Tubers. These freako freaks ain't haters and they ain't screamers either. You've seen the one with the claws already but they're all, there are ty other types too. Some kind of industrial workforce gone wrong, so they say. Sounds like BS to me. <laughs> There are more, maybe, but I think that's enough to squeeze into your cranium for now. Catch you later. Yup, see you later, Uncle Death. Thanks for the information on the enemy types. This is up to attack power, so 10%. If swing speed goes up, then that would be, I think, ideal for for it at least in my case cuz i like fast fast weapons ranged or otherwise ranged or melee anything that's fast oh it's a robot will this put it to sleep or will it not put it to sleep Okay, my health is full now. How long is this? Ah, I'll eat it anyway. Can bag this, because now my attack is up. Oh, 
I missed. I missed again. Oh, dodge. What the heck is it doing? Oh, is it up here now? No. There we go. Dual hammered it. Oh, they know now. Oh, this is as fast as I can crouch. I was gonna crouch really fast to the music if I could. Here, I can do this, though. Meow. Okay, now they're here. Okay. That's another robo down. What do I have in my inventory now? I'll check that. Because if I have anything to dispose of, then I'll do that now. Fluffy fungus. Um... I don't think I have anything that I... would want to get rid of right now. Wait. Attack 15 out of 24. Is that the only one I have? I thought I only had one... Only one, uh, hockey stick. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's almost... Okay. It's almost broken, but it doesn't show it down below. Okay. It shows it underneath. But there is... It's... Basically broken. I think with maybe the next hit or so. Oh! Silk. I can't collect it, though. Open up. Money. You know, I'll go find something to break this on. Oh, that's a robot. Oh, I can go back up here now. And just go collect the thing that I couldn't because I got knocked down. Yeah, there we go. Let's see this. More coins. Up down. Silk. So silk is... It says five star. So, this is one star, one star, one star, one star. I'll keep one, yeah, I'll just keep one scratch metal and then I'll remove this. There we go. And pick up the, the silk. Because it's five stars, so... I don't know how that translates in this game, whether, like... Something that's five star, or one star, or... Whatever. Like, how, how much better it is of a material, or... Oh, wait. Oh. Swung early. Oh. That broke now. Switch to this. Oh! That armor. There we go. Oh, but now I don't got pants. I lost my pants and shoes, so I just got this helmet and this, uh, this apron. Oh, they got a firework launcher, so I'll just wait for them to come down here then. Yep. You know what? They're asleep. Oh, they have another one. Okay, same, same thing, but I have inventory space now, so... 
I'll just take both of them and have one for extra. This one's about to break. Okay, this is seven more fireworks in it. Ooh. Okay, jump area. What's... I didn't go down this way yet. Okay, this is the same... Yeah, but it goes across there. How do I... There we go. And then I saw this over here, so open up. What's inside? Money. Got it. Oh, I fell. Ouch. I'll eat the frog. Oh, more silk. Take that. There, now I got two, two silk, uh, material. The robot's up there, so it probably won't notice me until I, uh, go back up. What do I have? I have a sleep shroom, but I don't- or not a sleep shroom, but a REM flower, question mark? Is it? Oh, it is pulsating, okay. I didn't know if it was or not, actually. I'll switch to that. Or, yeah, I'll switch to the frog. For now. Okay, aiming up does not change the arc. It's just the same. Okay, I... I didn't hit it with any of those. Whoa! Ouch. Oh! Go, 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 go. I'm out of here. I'm gonna... I'm gonna eat this. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh! Come down here, please. It jumps! It jumps! That's- that's great. It does an animation like it's climbing- oh, I'm dead. Oh, I lost the silk materials. ディレクトヘル、瀬戸際子と申します。この島では過酷な条件のため、お果てになられる方がたくさんいらっしゃいます。そんな方々の瀬戸際の生をサポートいたしますのが、ディレクトヘル。それでは、東方の保険プラン、
I don't know how to fight it though. New mail. The direct hell girl. Dear senpai, it's me. Phew, you got resurrected. Okay, huh? Once you die in this game, it's quite tricky to revive you. See, we have to ask Miss Sato, a company agent. She represents a continue insurance company and also runs the Direct Hell Express. There should be a mail from her in the with details. She also got a damn fine scooter, Miss Sato, her hobby is taking photos, you get the idea. You can use the insurance to revive, but take care, alright? Okay. Alright, Uncle Death. Got it. Master level. Wait. What leveled up? It's not- it's not showing. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I already went over it. I missed it, though. Okay, well, the robot... I don't like the robot. So... I'm just gonna try to avoid it as much as I can. Can it come through here? Oh, it can. Hey, hey friends. Let's not, please. Oh, let's not, please. I'm just gonna run. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, this is a pit of death. I brought everything in here. <laughs> They're all gonna fight each other. Ouch. Oh, missed. So now everything will come back this way. Yeah, 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 no, 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 no. Let's, let's not, please. Oh. Activate, 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 activate. Oh, everything is here now. This thing, they'll fight, they'll fight each other. Yep, I'll get the robot to shoot them. Ha! <laughs> Go, 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 go. Did I activate it? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I thought I did. I didn't activate it. Oh, please. Oh. Okay, another one down. Stand still for a little bit. You two fight. No, 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 don't fight me. Oh, I missed. Come on. Yeah, get him. I'll get the AI to fight each other. I'm just gonna stand right here. Oh, there. The saw broke. There, get dual hammer. There we go. Oh, I missed. It was early. Oh, I didn't want to put that in the inventory. I wanted to put that on. We see. Death bag. There, now I got it on. There we 
go. Hammer gore bonus one. Take this in the bag. And go check this box over here as well. Open up. Money. Alright. Is the robot gone? I think the robot is gone. Oh, okay, I can go back to the waiting room. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna deposit some of this stuff I picked up so I don't lose it. I get the Mingo. Mingu head. Ming Mingo head. Here. So I got. Oh, yeah, I do have points. Okay, so I can do two. I'll do... Stamina... And strength, or... I'll do stamina and dexterity. There we go. Slowly regaining health. see what this is about now. Super Scope 703. In order to streamline your quest, we've set up a Super Scope 703. Just take a peek and you'll be able to remote access the Death Drive 128 compatible D-Mate laptop in the hated arcade. Give it a try. You can also pick up the quest the normal way by exiting the game and returning to the hated arcade directly. Naughty notification. The boy and girl statues either Either side of Super Scope 703 will have glowing eyes and wave their arms excitedly to no notify you when you have quests. Uh, notify you when quests have been added or updated. Okay. Meow. The quest has been updated. Collect. Fun fungus. Mushroom finding. Collect. Oh, okay. I see. The pumpkin shrooms. Defeat screamer. Capture 500 beasts in the tower. Six. Okay. So wait. Then let me see... There, I'll accept the collect pumpkin shroom quests. And... I'll do... You know what? Let me see. Oh, difficulty one event. Okay, I see. Defeat hater. Well, I'll do that one. Tuber mark one. Sure. Hammer. Collect. 
Collect Boom Shroom times 5 in the tower. Capture Frog. Collect Bronze Pumpkin Shroom. Um. Oh no, wait. I didn't want to quit that one. I'll do. Collect Beasts, collect Mushrooms. Jackals. Okay, well. Oh, and it accesses the phone. And play settings. End the game back to title screen. Yeah. I'm actually going to change this back now to... <laughs> I'm going to change it back to English. <laughs> the subtitles are in English, but the, the speaky, the words... The words from the characters are not. So... Or, I guess, rather, the voices of the characters are not. So there we go. Let it die! Okay, here we go. Back in. What is this? Cause I, I never actually stopped to look at this, but it's just... Or you know what, I think you learn about this later on. But for now, I have no clue what it is. How do I access... Here we go, this is where you access other characters. Yep, Fighter Freezer. The characters the player controls in the game are called fighters, and you can possess several at one time. The place where you store them is called the Fighter Freezer. Fighter type. There are eight fighter types in the player control in this game. Each has its own number of skill decal and death bag slots and will grow differently as it gets stronger. The mask equipped initially will also vary. All abilities are balanced. Oh, all rounder, okay. All rounder, all abilities are balanced. Each attribute can be raised equally. Striker specializes in close range attacks. HP and strength are prioritized. Defender specializes in defense. HP and vitality are prioritized. Attacker specializes in attacking. Strength and dex are prioritized. Shooter. Specializes at shooting. Dexterity is prioritized. Collector. Uh, specializes in collecting materials. Deathbag capacity is high. Skill master. Specializes in skill expansion. Has many skill decal slots. Lucky star. Specializes in increasing fortune. Luck is prioritized to increase. Select. You can now select a fighter in the storage to switch with the fighter you're controlling. Fighter survival index. Survival Index is a number that displays a fighter's strength and abilities. This number will change based on a fighter's ability, level, equipment, and decals, etc. Campaign. You can send fighters on expeditions to fight other players. Fighters who are on expeditions are referred to as hunters, and they can earn kill coins, splithium, and equipment when they return to you. If hunters are equipped with gear developed in uh, Cho Chokufunsha, the durability will not decrease as they fight, however, if they use other equipment, the durability will go down steadily. The amount varies depending on the equipment. Watch out for red names. If you see a fighter with a red name, it's a hunter that someone has sent after you. 
Make sure to take revenge against them when you find them. Settings. You can change a fighter's title and assign skill decals here. You can also manage your selected fighter's death bag and storeroom items. Disposal. Fighters you no longer need can be disposed of. You will be able to get back the splithium stored in these fighters. Purchasing fighters. If there is space on the rotating hangers in the freezer, you can go to the fighter depot and purchase new fighters by selecting the monitor installed there. Salvage. Salvage haters in exchange for kill coins. Carried equipment is also retrieved. There is a discount for express pass holders. You can also pay in death metal to salvage haters from the Tower of Barbs, floors 21 and above. Freebie salvage. Salvage haters from Tower of Barbs, floors 20 and below are f are for okay. 20 and below for free, but you lose items those fighters were carrying. Okay. Well then. Let me check this and see if I got anything. Box is empty, okay. And now let me store some stuff. How much storage space do I have? Storage chest is 30, so... I'll store that. Store this. I'll store all the materials. Um... This... Uh... Okay, this is stuff I'm able to use now. This will put that in there, and this will put in there. Oh, this is an R&D. Okay. Now... Let me check my... No, 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 no. Well, I'll check the mail as well. Meijin. Yo, Meijin here. Man, you won't believe how many Meijin tips I got for you. They're really piling up now. Drop by the arcade sometime and let me impart some of my wisdom, okay? By the way, the battle I'm fighting while I send you this message is just epic, man. Adios, dude. Meijin. Okay. My data. Mastery level. There, now I've cleared it. Tutorial. Okay. Um... Take out... Yeah. Death bag. Clip. There we go. you yes yes it is me I have come to R&D question mark okay waste oil and iron scraps I need for these or aluminum scraps rather iron scraps are aluminum scraps cell storage chest ah okay so I can sell this stuff. Oh, I can sell the armor as well if I wanted to. What does... Okay, so this is technically only 20 coins, but it says it's 5 star. I don't know if that... I guess it must say if it's rare or not. Yeah. Okay, so I guess I could have kept the other scratch metal and it would have been technically more rare than, like, the cotton and waste oil, but this says five stars, so I don't know what that means. Or, like, this is two stars, but... Huh. And that's just these two. Come back anytime. Okay, I can't access that. Um. 
Well, I'll go to the fighter freezer and see what's in there. There's the one that... That's my first character. In use. And three. Empty. I thought I got another one at some point. So if I select, it'll switch me out, right? Yeah. I go back to my original character. Well, you know what? Can I send... I can send them on a... On an expedition. One hour ago. What even happens if I... Do that, though? Beefo. Oh! They got bar uh, body armor. Yeah. They're wearing a mask. Wait, 24 hours? Yeah, no, I don't think I'm gonna do that. I think I'm gonna... Wait, fighter settings? Death bag. Oh, I can look at all the stuff that I have on that character. Change skill decals, I don't have any. Change name. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is what I can use the keyboard for. That I cannot use the controller for. Because I don't got one of the controller keyboards. Okay. Well... There we go. XD. This character is XD. And... I'll select this character. Oh, I didn't even see! Death is back there! He's back in the right corner. Or, well, I guess... Just back in the right, because it's... Like a... a cylinder. Type thing. Oh, that's like a like a bazooka, but it's got a scope on it, like a long, a long. It's almost like a rifle bazooka, if you can even call it that. Sixteen minutes on that, or sixteen hours rather on this. have enough points for anything is the question. No. Wait, what does this say on it? What? Do it yourself or or, or fuck, fucking die? Okay. That's that's an interesting uh apron. So where this will bring me one, three. I just have four, one, and three. I haven't been to two yet. So I think I'll take... I might just take the path through four, one to four, two if I can find where four, two starts. just use my... I can use my fists to fight. The question is, can you master just unarmed? Um... 
guess my data? Yes. Master level. Okay, yeah, you can. You can just get your fists leveled up. Well then, I guess I'll just level up my fists. Because I'll fight the things to floor 2 with my fists. Only. And uh, use my weapons when I get f back up again. Okay, so it said... Okay, I can't jump up there. Money. Collect the money. Crush room. Oh, this is the attack power one. Oh yeah, that's right. I was doing a quest or whatever to find them, so... Okay, not anywhere up there to go. Okay. Need 20, or well, 19 more beasts and 19 more mushrooms. Okay, this is where I have a choice. Or no, it isn't. Not yet. Okay, those are the tubers. Ouch. Get him. There, I mastered up. Alright, yeah. The rank up. I ranked up the fists. 18 more beasts to go and still 19 mushrooms. Okay, so I can go through here, but. Oh, red hot iron. I'll take that and put that there. Switch to unarmed. Ouch. Ouch. Hey, no more. No more of that. One handed. I'll take it in one of the empty slots. Open up. Another iron. You know what? Can I have dual irons? It is a one-handed weapon, okay. I can dual wield two irons if I want to. Okay, over here is where I went last time. So I'll go up these stairs this time. And maybe that'll be floor two. Oh, it's a hater. It's fighting. Ah, uh, buzzsaw. I'll just let- I'll just let him fight. Oh, it doesn't know of my presence yet. Just let him keep going. While I'm not in combat, I'll re- <laughs> regen help. I want to see. Is it over? Oh no, it's not. I think the hater is almost dead. Yep. Oh no, they healed. No more. There we go. 
I hunted a hater. The hater is dead. Let's just take this. There we go. Truck pants. Put those on. There, now I got pants. And my apron. My welding mask. Oh, now I'm up here. Yeah, not this time. You're not gonna shoot me from the top. Oh, they noticed. No more. Iron hammer. Put that in there. Okay, this is the same room that I've already been in. Yeah, because this just opens up to the crate back here. Ooh. Okay, what can I switch for this? This is empty, okay. Switch this for... Um... I'll switch this for a frog. Be free, frog. Death bag. Oh, it takes off my mask, okay. Well then... Yeah, I'm just- I'm just gonna get rid of it then. Put this frog back in the inventory. Here we go. I'll just hit it with fireworks. Six more to kill of those for the one quest. So, how do I get to that? It's saying that there's... Okay, this is... That. Okay. What if I go... Okay, let me go all the way over here and see. Okay, there's not an exit there. Not there either. So if I go back up, it'll tell me. It'll show me so I can see the pathways. Because it's not up here, right? Can I... Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. I haven't been down the other path. Yeah, I'm coming up on it now. Oh. Okay. Wait, what is- is that just a- Okay, it's another frog. Yeah, here we go. 4-2. Nope. Never mind. Oh. Oh yeah, that's right, they have an iron. You know what? Switch out the... Switch out the firework launcher for that. I got dual irons. 
Now am I able to go through this? Is there another enemy somewhere? That I missed? Another iron. You know what? I'm gonna swap the... This hammer, because it's almost broken. There, now I got... More irons. Death bag. There, now I got... Got my iron set up. Do I have to kill all the enemies before I'm allowed to advance through that floor? to have a open slot to switch to my hands. My data. Aster level. Got the irons leveled up. Okay. Uh, how? How though? Okay, that does bring down durability, so I don't want to do that. There. Nope, that's not it. Okay. It does not let me turn this for some reason. Okay, was it that? It wasn't the frog? <laughs> nope, that's not it either. Why can't I go through... ...there, right now? Well, I guess I'll go back and... ...fight enemies or something and see if I can go then? I don't think there was any enemies I missed, or anything. Yeah, no, there's... There's this stuff again. Money. Doom Shroom. I don't have any inventory space, so... What if I just go back? and then come back in here again. Just go back to the waiting room. I encountered frog. You killed frog. You got six, 16 coins. End. Area end. Okay. Oh. Firm. 
Do I have enough points to level up? Um, strength, HP, vitality, luck. I'll do strength. enough so I don't have enough for anything else I don't think nope okay oh. oh here we go this is how you go to the arcade ah cooler weather is finally here It'll be winter soon, and I gotta put a sock on my balls. You ready to play? No, no, I'm not ready to play. I wanted to talk to uh, Mei Jin. Oh, you, you playing that? Well, let me know if you have any questions. I'll give you some tips if I have the time. Okay. But you were saying. Like talk to you. My wind streak is gonna make the pyramids look like ant hills. Okay. So I guess not. Oh, tower of barbs. Oh, it's just the Yeah, it's just the different uh scenes. One of the many attractions of the tower of Okay, yeah, it's just it's just the ones that I've seen previously for the uh I don't know what you'd say instructional videos slash information about it. What is this? Ah, uh, here we go, here's the radio. I change it though. No, I can't. That's just that's the, the one song that's playing. Well, I'll go over to the counter. Huh? Oh, um, I really don't know anything. Sorry. I'll claim the reward at the rewards box. Oh, this is the one. Okay, well, I, just I guess got I'm back going from back. A yearly medical checkup. Turns out, <laughs> I don't have any internal organs. Just nasty, gunky shit. Anyway, ready to play? Yes, Uncle Death, I am ready to play. This is still not available to do anything with yet, but it's there. Okay, this is just the same thing. Are you kidding me? No. Oh, oh, oh. Question mark. I was the phone camera. Oh, here we go. Rewards. Cannot take. Death bag is full. Hello, let me go deposit something. If I have anything to deposit anyway, store. Jungle machete. I don't think I do really have anything to put away, necessarily. Uh, depending on what it is, I'll store the machete. Let me see. Depending on what this is, is what'll determine. Okay, rare metal for R&D. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that back in the... I'm gonna put that in the storage box. 
There we go. And now, take out the jungle machete again to use it. Um, death bag. There we go. Welcome. R&D. So, I only have these two blueprints, I guess. So, death bag, store chest. So these are, are where is the scratch metal? So this is worth a hundred. I don't even know. I don't know how to use the currency I have right now. Come back anytime. Is there anything to? Oh. That's a hand with a skull glove on, but I don't think that's- that's not Death- is that Death himself? I don't know. Exit A, exit A. Yeah. I guess I can just spend money to go up the elevators and stuff like that. Oh well, I can buy decals. I didn't. I forgot about these. Resistance decrease the duration of continuous damage taken while on fire. Discover. Oh, recover three percent of damage dealt as HP. Maximum recovery per hit is 3% of your maximum health. Okay. Attack by 7%. Rate at which stamina decreases during dodge goes down by 30%. Reduce falling damage by 50%. Increase attack and defense by 30% when your HP is 15% or lower. How's the strength necessary to equip weapons and or armor? Halves the decks necessary to equip weapons and uh, and or armor. This one's same, but vitality, HP. Um. Well, I'm gonna do mosquito. Now I'll put I'll put on the mosquito. There we go. Now I'll heal when I hit people. Buy premium decals, no no no. Go there. I spent some money on the mosquito. But you can't see it over the apron. Mail. Uncle Death. Skill decals. Dear Senpai, it's me, so you finally collected some skill decals, huh? Seems like they're compounded from mushroom powder f by that girl. Kinda like fermentation, huh? Aha! Well, later. Okay. Okay, Uncle Death. Skill decal book. Mosquito. Wait. Ah, it's mosquito with a... with a 5 instead of an S. Okay. Wait, what? Oh. I guess that's to heal you. Yeah. I think. Okay, nothing in there. I didn't know it had a light above it, like, to tell you if there were things or not in it, but now I know. So that for future reference. What is this? 
hell. I can't, I don't even know what that says. Help. Our help? Yeah, I don't know. Um... You know what, let me... I'm gonna look in my inventory and see what I have. Bronze Pumpkin Shroom. So then let me see... What the... I'm gonna go see what the quest is. Cause I have no clue. Bronze pump mushroom, okay. Okay, the reward is fun fungus times three. But it doesn't say... It doesn't say how many I have, I don't think, unless I do it. Like I pick up another one or something. in progress. Seeing if there is anything else to activate while I'm here. Uh, doesn't look like it. This has got cones in front of it and this thing here. This doesn't activate. And this doesn't... Yeah, this doesn't matter, because both... Both of them are... Just split... Or not split anymore, anyway. Oh! Hey, oh, I thought this was like a... Like a secret room or something back here to go in. Or like a secret path. But it's not. Oh, okay. Oh. All right. Well, I think I think I'm going to uh end the stream here, but um uh, thanks again, uh, thanks Neon Tiger for, uh, I guess welcoming me to the, to the game and having a little bit of a chat and, uh, yeah, thank, thank you for watching and I'll see you, I'll see you later.